Third and dry. Their first goal, though, Casletter of Italy lost the puck, and it was an opening goal by Vasilia. A minute later, Drozdowski drilling his fourth of the Olympics right through the pads of the goalie. Italy's goaltender Capone gets a piece of the shot, but it gets by him, and it's 2-0 Soviets. Their third goal comes on a power play, one of the few they were able to connect on today. Makarov drives a shot right here off the post. And for Makarov, number 24, a real speedster with the Soviet squad, he gets his second goal of the 1984 Winter Olympics. Another look at it, Makarov set up perfectly, one times it, drives it right off the post past Capone. Italy had only a handful of good scoring opportunities. One of their best was a breakaway by Grant Goegan. He's stopped by Michigan here, though. Good pass up to Goegan. Rushed on his scoring attempt a little, but Michigan makes the save. Goegan, a native of Victoria, British Columbia, a great scoring opportunity there for Italy. The final goal of the first period, the play started by Billy Letinoff at center. Takes a pass from Sportsef again, and he puts it into the net. And it's 4-0 for the Soviets over Italy. Billy Letinoff starting it all himself, and then finishing it off as he gets the return pass from Alexander Sportsef. And it drills into the net here past Capone. And the Soviets moved in front of Italy by a score of 4-0. Just two goals in the final 40 minutes. Italy's David Tomassoni beats Michigan with a shot along the ice. The pass coming from Tom Milani, who is a native of Thunder Bay, Ontario. Tomassoni is from Bemidji, Minnesota. The only shot to beat the 27-year-old Vladimir Michigan today, 4-1 at that point. The last scoring play, Nikolai Drozdetsky shows his mobility and offensive talent, moves around the opposition, and for Drozdetsky, his second goal of the game. What a great move in front of the net, especially around defenseman Norbert Gasser of Italy. And uh, the final scoring play, Nikolai Drozdetsky, and the Soviets win 5-1 over Italy. And next up, Lloyd, for the Soviets.